going on guys? It is your boy Beakers and we're here for another episode of the Heart Gold Randomized Reverse Lock. And in today's episode, we're going to be finishing up the Bellsprout Tower and taking on the gym today. So, if you guys are excited, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are brand new to the Beakers Brigade. And don't forget to go into that comment section. And in today's episode, go ahead and let me know... You know what? Let's, let's go deep for a second. What is your most inspirational quote I like that go ahead and put in the comment section what your most inspirational quote I'm curious to see what you guys get inspired by but with that being said let's go ahead and get a quick team recap because I went ahead and leveled everyone up to at least 10 so you know we can use a little bit of everybody first off we got hammy our hit mon top with Revenge, Rolling Kick, Focus Energy, and Pursuit. Then we also got Doyle, the starter you guys picked out, which I love to death, thank you very much, for not being so mean to me. With the damp ability with Tackle, Leer, and Charge. And last but certainly not least, we got TK, my little lovable, ah, little Pokemon you, with Drought, Pound, Poison Gas, Harden, and Mud Slap. All right, let's head off into the Sprout Tower. I keep calling it a Bell Sprout Tower because I keep thinking it is a Bell Sprout Tower because technically it is a Bell Sprout Tower. Because look at the Bell Sprouts, they're right there. Not to mention, I think this thing has a bell with this thing swinging back and forth. If you look at it, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. it's not that fast. It's actually kind of slow. I'm actually a little hyper. Because in between episodes and recording, I did all my grinding and everything like that. And then I came across and was like, you know what? I'm actually really hungry because I'm actually recording all these episodes before I go to work today. Spoiler alert or breaking the fourth wall or breaking the eighth wall or breaking the 16th wall. I'm invisible now. Can I pass this trainer with no issues? That would be kind of cool. I don't know if I'll be able to. We're going to have to find out if I'm going to have to redo all of this. So that can be in red. Yeah. I know I just encountered a trainer. I know I did exactly that. What's that? Oh, oh, hi. That's a sweet coon. Anywho, in between episodes, I w was like, you know what? I'm actually kind of hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat and go along my way. I actually had a ham and cheese sandwich. And I know that's just not anything outrageous, but I had it on potato bread, which is phenomenal. And then I also had it with not Havarti cheese. What was the cheese? Munster. Munster cheese. Really good cheese, might I add. My family's from Wisconsin, so they know their stuff about cheese. And my uncle was like, hey, I want you to try this cheese. And I'm like, oh, that's so good. And then I had it with, like, you know, the real ham. Like, um, how do I put this? It's, it's not like fake ham or, like, real ham or anything like that. But it was just, like, the the good, like, I'm not gonna, I can't even say, like, organic ham or anything like that. It was just, it was just the good ham. The, the expensive ham, like the Black Forest ham and stuff like that. Like the the top tier of ham list. I don't know what to say. It's not like it's bacon or anything like the top tier of the pig. It's the top tier of the ham. I don't know. Anywho, what I did is I had one of them, just like I normally do because I was hungry. And then the other one, I actually melted the cheese a little bit. And I didn't realize how much better that actually tasted. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you normally... It's like pizza. You have cold pizza, and then you have hot pizza. You can eat it both ways. Sometimes one's better than the other, and sometimes the other's better than the other. If that makes any sense at all. It's like reverse day. It just goes flip-flop all the way all over the side. Clerk? Was that Clank Clark or something like that? I have no idea. But we won a battle in the dark. So, that's actually really cool. But we're going to have to go ahead and chalk this off as another one. It would not be apparently the Let's Play or an episode or anything like that without one of these issues. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Ah! And we're back! Alright, sorry about that again. I gotta figure out how to fix this. I don't know if there actually is a fix to this. I did a little bit of research in between recordings as well as getting something to eat. Trying to figure out, like, you know, how I could fix it or make it easier, make this last longer or something like that. Because look, we've already had it again. We got it again. What is this? What is this? I wish it was so much easier. I don't have any other issues besides for heart gold and soul silver. That's it. That is the absolute like weirdest thing in the world to me. I'm not even going to cut this one out because it it's very short and very easy to do. Space mail. We need to go into space and actually figure out what is wrong with the game, I guess then. 
because holy crap how many times have i had to restart it this time i think i've had to restart at least four times five times during this recording session alone it's kind of wild like during my recording not my recording my grinding and stuff like that in between i had no issues not a single issue not a single issue at all now i'm having issues it's always when you hit that record button always it doesn't change always like that that's a dark cry you are super effective against me you are super effective against me if i'm not mistaken because ominous wind is going to hit me and it's going to hit me hard and i know it's you have disabled i thought you had ominous wind why am i not hitting you with tackle i thought tackle was a hundred percent it's probably 95 percent to be completely honest with you because i know tackle's different with the gens I may have to look into that a little bit, but I don't know. Did that say wall rain? Thick tusked wall rain. Go away. Thank you. Togetic. You're a flying type and normal type, right? So technically, Hammy could take care of you unless you metronome sheer cold me or something. That wasn't super effective, though. I thought you were a flying type. Or are you just a pure normal type? These are the things I think of in the night. Alright, let's finish up with Bellsprout Tower because... An awakening. No, I want a Master Ball, a Lucky Egg, an Experience Share, Leftover, Shell Bell, something! A Choice Specs, uh, uh, something. A Nugget. I will take a nugget. I didn't buy an escape rope. I'm gonna have to go down the old fashioned way. Oh boy. I'm okay with that. But all these, are these considered monks? Or are they just like, I, I, I don't know how to go across that. Oh, this is, this is so cool. Cause during my grinding, I realized how strong Hammy was. Fighting is super effective against flying types. And it makes it so easy to do. And it's also super effective against psychic types. So I think fighting type is actually going to be the typing of of the let's play. I'm curious to what you guys think. Like, who is the... Because normally when you think of typings, you're like psychic type. You have dragon type that are just like super, super powerful. What single typing do you think is going to be... Is going to be like the almighty powerful typing of this of this let's play. I I think it's going to be a grass type that I just have not gotten one yet. Just because grass type is weak to so many things normally. And now since it's reversed, it's actually going to, you know, be resisted or... Yeah, resisted is the right word because nothing is immune at this point. There's not a single immunity ever. Unless it's an ability. Uh, normally I would stay in. But this is not the right move. We are in a reverse lock. Beagles, you have to think of the opposite. That would have been super effective against Hammy. That would have been super effective against me. Um, oh boy, rock throw kind of hurts, and we still don't have another good move on Doyle. Asking you shall receive! Shuckle. Shuckle. Bug rock type. What is he weak to then? He'd be weak to psychic types. And he would be weak to... Fire? No, he'd be neutral to fire. Whoa! Is Shuckle stronger with the reverse lock? I'm trying I'm trying to think and it's not working. To be fair, I can't think. I I'm I'm mostly thinking about ham and cheese right now, because I'm still a little hungry and I know I'm I I ate I also ate sun chips. And I love sun chips to death. But the problem that I have with those is is this gonna be super effective? No, not very effective. That's right, you're a rock type. Okay, then. Um, what was I gonna say? I completely forgot what I was gonna say. I ate sun chips, 
And I like sun chips. That, that's the conversation I was going to have with you guys, and I have no idea why. I'm just thinking about food right now because I'm eating before work, and I have work in like an hour, and I want to make sure I can also get out these videos for you guys because I made a goal for myself to get out. Why did I do? I, I don't need to poison you again. I did a goal for myself to make sure I get three videos of a solo project out in a week. Which is why I went for the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is when these videos go up. Which today is Friday for you guys, so... Ah! But, um... That was my goal for this solo series. Not to mention I wanted to get a good intro. I wanted to get good graphics. I wanted to change things up a little bit. I I'm trying a lot of different things. And that's why I put it in the community tab as well on YouTube. Like, hey... What do you guys prefer? Collabs, solo projects, the Pokemon challenge shorts. What do you guys prefer? What do you guys like? I'm trying to, I'm trying to change things up little by little. I'm trying to, trying to get the good stuff for you. you. Like the good stuff. Okay, so let's, you know what? Let's let's start out with Hammy because we don't have to battle the rival, but we do have to battle this Odegat over here. That was the elder talking. Okay, I didn't I didn't mean to hit the ape. Okay. I can't do Rebel's voice. Can't do Rebel's voice. But I do have a voice for our arrival that I do like to do. It's also the easiest voice for me to do. <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture, who lecture, le le lecture, le holy crap, that's hard to say doing this voice. How you should be nice to Pokemon. They cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't even... Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. I feel like that's how Bellsprout would... Talk. If he could talk. Like, not just saying, Bellsprout. It would actually be, you know... Throughout, 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 throughout. <laughs> but that's just me. All right, old man. Hey, so good for you to um, um, be here, come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training where we test bonds and fight for the future. I'm the final test. Let's go. Hell, my back. It's the same voice for all old men, unfortunately. I don't have another voice. For Ooh, look, Krogunk. Okay, we should... Pursuit should be super effective! Yeah! It's so weird seeing that, though. Like, there was an image I remember. It was a Squirtle shooting out electricity to a ground type. And it says super effective... And what was what was all of it? It was really weird and funky. It was the weirdest picture in the world, and I love it to death. But that's that picture completely reminds me of this now, because this is essentially the reverse of reverse of reverse for everything. Is ground type going to be super effective against a Geodude though? Is it normally weak to itself with ground typing? This is like the the uh, uh, the trial before the gym leader. So hopefully, I, I just nonchalantly went into this battle with not even any... Okay, no, that is not very effective. And now you're Speedy Boy! I don't understand the whole rock polish part. Because what would be really cool is if they use like rock polish or something like that on them. And then they turned... They turned color or something. Like they turned it into a diamond. Like, um, Roly-Coly. Roly-Coly could have, uh, instead of it, like, a shiny or anything, it has, like, a different form where it has diamond, like, a diamond in it or something, and it was, like, a secret rare or something like that, like, Floetta. Is it Floetta that has it? They have a different type. Like, um, it's, uh, Z's. Is it Z? Z's Floetta or something like that is just a, like, a secret rare or something like that? I just, just a quick thought, or, like... It could have been a Galarian form, or an Alolan form, or Kanto form, or something like that. They could have done that as well. I just thought that would be a cool idea. It just popped into my head, because when I think of cool ideas, I think of, like, AC. 
because it's cool. I know, I'm not that good at jokes, and I apologize for that, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, speaking of jokes. That's a joke. That's a joke, right? You didn't hit me that hard, right? You did not hit me that hard, right? Don't take me anymore here, okay? Right? Don't bring me here anymore, right? I think that's what he says. Is that from, uh, that's from Space Jam. Um, anywho. Uh, was watching Austin Powers. And someone told me that one of the characters just reminds them of the voice Shrek. And if you know anything about Michael Myers... And he plays like three or four different characters, I think, in the Austin Powers like trilogy and stuff like that. It's weird calling that a trilogy because again, the trilogy I I think of is Back to the Future. Um, but in that trilogy, he plays like three or four different characters. He plays Doctor Evil. He plays Austin Powers, and then he plays another character, which I'm not saying that name on on the video. But you guys know what I mean if you guys have watched. Um, if you guys have watched Austin Powers before, but he remind it, apparently that voice is Shrek. Now I can't watch the movie without picturing Shrek. Not to mention that character actually says Donkey, and it's perfect. It just I'm like, that's that's really weird. <laughs> actually, I need to go watch Shrek again. Shrek was actually a good movie. Not to mention there were some adult humor in Shrek that people don't realize. Man, some rotten berries. Man, that was strong gas that came out of my butt that day. Um, but yeah, I like Shrek. I like... I'm not gonna say I like Mike Myers or Michael My. Is it Mike Myers? I, have I been saying Michael Myers like the... Um, um Friday the... Oh, Jason? I think that's what, exactly what I've been saying for the past little bit. TM70 normally contains Flash. However, in this situation, it contains... Please tell me it's something good. Pursuit. That Doyle can learn. I'm going to teach it to Doyle for just variety. Because I'm not exactly sure what's going to be the best typing just yet. That's what I'm a little like hesitant on. There were a haunch crow in here? No wonder you gave me the TM for pursuit. It's kind of wild. I like that. All right. Well, I'm going to use the speed up area and just try to get through Bellsprout Tower again. Be Have we not encountered anything since that haunch crow? Wow. I'm so used to having to use like a repel or an escape rope or something. Wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. No, there's no items to the side. I, I swear I saw an item like at the corner of my eye and I was about to lose my mind. Lose my mind. Lose my mind. I was about to lose my mind, mind, mind. I already have. Speaking of losing my mind. Um, there are situations where I go, where would my brain be if I were to lose it? Like, if I didn't have my head attached to me, I probably would lose it. Not gonna lie. We can get potions. I need potions. Give me six. Give me six. Give me... I can't get ten Pokeballs. But hold up. I can sell my nugget. My nugget. My nugget. Here I want some more nuggets. I tried so hard, but I can't die to bullet. I want more nuggets because they give me so much money and I like it. I love it. And I want some more of it. Look, give me 10. Give me 10. Give me 10 so I can get my Premier Ball. Yeah. Um. Yes. Give me another 10. And what I'm going to do. No. Give me 5. I want to keep money just in case, even though it's a very small amount. I want to keep money just in case for, you know, more Pokeballs or I need potions. Like, that, 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 that backup. 
Do you give me anything? Yo, champ of the making, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe, then a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. That is wrong. That is the exact opposite. Keep this in mind. That is the exact opposite. Exact opposite. Why can we walk on these? This always, this never made sense to me. Why can we walk on those before we battle the gym leader? Like, they should highlight or something after you beat the gym leader and you can use that to walk across. But now, you you shouldn't be able to do this right now. Period. But that's my opinion. That is my opinion. I want to face off these trainers because I know we're going to need a few more levels, even though Doyle is up with the ace. Oh, what's up, Salamance? What's up, Salamance? Guess what I'm su- Oh, that's super effective! Hold up! <laughs> Hold up! I forgot he gets bite! <laughs> I forgot he gets bite! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that's- I didn't- I didn't catch that at first. At all. I'm like, ah, we good. We got this. Salamance got nothing. All of a sudden, bite came out. I'm like, wait! No, that's super effective against a fighting type. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do you have? Do you have more flying types too? Because that'd actually be kind of dope. Hammy could take care of everything here if that was the case. Bonsley. That's a rock type, and I'm almost positive you get counter. I'm going to switch out into Doyle. Because Doyle is like the just ace in the hole for something like this. And I'm going to hit Spark. Did not say it was super effective, but that is a stab spark coming from a Luxray. Nidoran, ground type, poison type. Uh, we're going to stick with Doyle. And I want to test something here. Is this going to be super effective, though? No, it's neutral. Okay. What is electric going to be super effective against then? I'm trying to think. Would it be super effective against grass then? Oh, I forgot to. Uh, hey, Roger! I'm doing the old man voice again. Yo, I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird. Bird, because I'm bird, 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 bird. All right, willing elite four. We're battling the elite four already. Oh no, I, I don't think I'm ready. Porygon. Mm, normally, this is a good battle. Right now, it is not. So wait, do you get signal beam? You have tackle. That's not gonna do anything to me. I think you get Signal Beam. I don't know. Sharpen. Um. Okay. This is not as good as I thought. Can I poison? Yeah! TK hit the poison gas! Yeah! So many animations, though. I don't like using the speed up button during a gym leader, but there is so many animations from the drought to the poison to the sharpen to everything in between. It's just like, ah! Mud Slap is going to be pretty good against this because I need it to lose its conversion. Did you just say it turned into a psychic type? Um, okay, that's fine. Does that mean it has Psybeam? Normal type. It's back to a normal type. Can it not hit me? I'm guessing it can't. Well, no, it can't hit me. It hit me already. Why was it going for conversion so much? Thinking emoji. Baneary. That's another normal type. TK can handle this, right? And there's the level 13. Hmm. Um, question is, can can TK handle this? Because TK is our lowest leveled Mon. 
But, okay, no, 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 hit. Oh, this is why you don't use the speed up button. Speed up button. Speed up button. This is why you don't use the speed up button. Because you might lose a Pokemon. Um, I don't like this frustration right now. Ow! Why does that still hurt so much? Do you really not like your trainer that much? This needs to do some serious damage. Because frustration is hurting. Uh, it hurts so much. We outspeed. We outspeed. We outspeed. We outspeed. We outspeed. Okay. Girl, there we go. Okay. Why did that frustration hurt that much? Do you really not like your gym leader as a trainer? Is it because he thinks he's an Elite Four member? Is that why? Is that why it is? I hope that's what it is. Oh my goodness. I don't remember. Yeah, for Pete's sake. Come on, Dad. Cherish bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. All right. Take this badge. We got our very first badge, Beegers. Make sure you put it on the layout. With that badge Pokemon, including up to train to level 20, and I can use Rock Smash out of battle. Now, what are you giving? Are you giving me frustration? That'd be nice. Contains Roost. No, it does not. <laughs> no, it does not. Fire Fang! Nobody can learn. Nobody can learn. Of course not. Why Why would someone be able to learn that? See, my luck with TMs is either I get something that's overly, overly powered and no one can learn it. Or I get... Um, or I get something that's just doo-doo butter. And everyone can learn it. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's just my TM luck for some reason. I don't understand why. I don't know how or why it does that, but it is what it is. And we got through the elder, elder, whoever he is, and the gym leader without a scratch. So, we're in a good position right now. Now, I'm going to make sure I go grab this before we end off today's episode. Because in the very next episode, we are going to be starting off with an egg hatch. Hopefully, as long as I can get it to hatch before the episode. Unless it's like something stupid. Like if you guys did not watch the cage lock, apparently when it's a Arceus, spoiler, it hatches in one step. <laughs> I had no idea about that. I was not prepared for that. And it just, it, it was, it was wild to say the least. So yeah, we're going to try to get an egg hatch. And then we are going to head down here and start our journey off to the very next city. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below what your inspirational quote is. Cause I would love to learn that about you guys. And don't forget to the subscribe button. If you guys are brand new to be a part of the Beagles Brigade. But without further ado, thank you guys for the love and support. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the very next episode.